Historically, the repeatable course failure rate for students in introductory financial accounting class approaches 40 to 50 percent. Cal State Chico is no exception. What is a repeatable course grade? It's a C minus or below here at Chico State. So if a young student wants to major in business, they need to pass this class with a C or better. This is a traditional bottleneck course in the CSU, and this is one reason I've decided to flip the classroom. In the summer of 2013, the, C uh, the CSU Chancellor's Office created a program where they encouraged innovative faculty members who were teaching high bottleneck courses to redesign their courses. Principles of Accounting 1 was certainly a candidate given the repeatable course grade rate. So in the fall, I created 70 small videos, much like the Khan Academy. And then in the spring, I actually rolled these out so that students would watch these before coming to class. Now, this was class on Tuesday. On Thursday, I didn't go to class, although I would go to the breakout sessions and watch my four senior accounting majors teach the class and reinforce hands-on concepts. Before, I would lecture again using the same lecture approach, but now we had the students engaged with their senior breakout session mentors. What does it mean to flip the classroom? Basically, homework becomes classwork and classwork becomes homework. We make that happen by designing a series of videos. I designed 70 videos this semester of between five and 15 minutes each, and students had to watch the videos before coming to the large lecture Tuesday class. Then on Thursday, I had four senior breakout mentors who are accounting majors help the students with their homework in a breakout computer lab. Flipping the classroom means they watch videos at home, and when they come to class, I'm able to go deeper and more uh, conceptual with the students. On Thursday, they get to do their homework in a hands-on environment. One unique technique that I've used in this class is to emphasize that all students learn how to use Excel software. After they've mastered the basic features of Excel, they are now able to record transactions, they're able to summarize them, and they're also able to prepare financial statements much more easily. And some would argue, and I do as well, if students are presented with financial accounting with a tool that they'll be using in the real world, they'll be more motivated to, uh, to learn the material, and at the same time, they're going to learn a skill that is highly, uh, highly valued by employers. I mentioned earlier about the clicker technology. Now, the clicker technology allows me to assess students on how much they're learning as a class. Um, also, I get to take role with the clicker technology. And it works like this. I come into class on a Tuesday, and I immediately ask students to get out their clickers, which looks like a pen, actually. And I've created a series of five multiple choice questions that test the students over the videos they've watched the night before. This not only gives me a chance uh, to take role, it gives me a chance to assess where the class as a whole is having problems or mastering. And it also allows me to change my lecture a little bit each day based on how much students uh, are reporting. Now, a clicker quiz, I can see a distribution of how students are answering. If students score 90% in the class as a whole, then I'm d I've done a good job. If they only score 30 or 40%, I know I need to spend more time on that topic. In the flipped teaching model, the flipped classroom model, I encourage students to bring their laptops with them to class. Um, some of my colleagues don't allow students to bring laptops or tablets, but 
I liken this to a carpenter coming to a carpentry class without his hammer or his tool belt. The flipped classroom lets students use the latest technology to do work during not only the large lecture, but also in the breakout sessions. And in my class, I emphasize Excel spreadsheet skills to learn financial accounting, and students really seem to like this. At the beginning of each semester, I ask students at random what comes to mind when they think of financial accounting or principles of financial accounting. And the responses are typically along these lines. Boring, homework, pain, bookkeeping. Very rarely do I get an answer something like this. Power, literacy, knowledge, future. Um, the reason I changed accounting is because accounting now can be taught using available technology that will help motivate students to learn the material. And through this experience, I've become a much better professor because I've had to, when making these videos, think about how I would do this lecture during each day. Now that the lectures, all 70 of them, have been prepared, I never have to worry about not covering something. If I didn't cover it in class, at least students get a chance to see what I would have done outside of class. How many professors haven't had a great lecture someday and said, I'd really like to bottle that? Well, we can bottle that using the flipped classroom and using a model based on the Khan Academy. I think there's no doubt that the future of higher education, not only in accounting, but in all courses, will make better use of technology, including videos, including clickers, including Excel spreadsheet software, including internet skills, researching uh, financial statements from companies like Coca-Cola or Pepsi or Target. Thank you to the Chancellor's Office for making this possible. And I think the future of accounting education is in this area. And I look forward to continuing my experiment such that in the end, I think that we're onto something special in the 21st century. Thank you.